It seems like we've had a snowstorm almost every week this winter, and there are thousands of sidewalks and driveways that need clearing in the aftermath of those storms. Who do you think should be out there doing all that shoveling? Joining me now is Scott Lehigh from the Boston Globe with a few thoughts. Loved reading your article today entitled, Don't Kids Shovel Anymore. i got to say, it leapt off the page at me. Thank you very much, Mark. <laughs> what about that? I mean, you know, it used to be when we were kids, you, me, a lot of us of our generation, this was uh, worth your while exactly. if you got out yeah. there with a shovel. Yeah, a storm. You, you look forward to a storm, particularly if, if, if school wasn't that wasn't in, uh, because it was an opportunity to go out and make some money. I mean, the whole the whole city. Now, I lived in, in upstate Idaho at that point. The whole town was an enterprise zone. You could go out as a kid, and, and as I recall, it's like two bucks a sidewalk, maybe five to seven bucks a driveway. You could come back after after a day of shoveling with a good deal of money in your pocket. And weekend of shoveling, you do fine. Not to uh, mention the cocos and cookies you might get on exactly. the side. Exactly, you get re repeat customers, people who'd want you back. Now, I um, I'm now of the age where I wouldn't mind hiring someone to shovel, but <laughs> no one comes by. You know, you just you don't have the kids knocking on the door, ringing the bell, asking if they can they can shovel you out. So I was uh, the column really was a little bit of a lament about that. And I have to say, I've been amazed at the. Uh, the number of comments, emails, and comments below the column I've had from people saying the same thing. God, I used to, I made all kinds of money when I was a kid doing that, right. but no one does it now. Uh, now, I have had some other people, someone emailed me from Southie, someone from Cambridge Port, um, someone from JP saying in our neighborhood, there are kids out shoveling, but yeah. uh, I think the overwhelming consensus on this one was that in general, you just don't see it anymore. You say you've had one kid over the past three years, and even that didn't go well, did it? You know, three decades. No, that was in when I was uh, serving my mandatory time in, in Brighton. When every kind of more newcomer to the city, I think you know, spends a year or two there. And a neighborhood kid who came by and wanted to shovel out my uh, VW Rabbit, and, and I said, "Yeah, sure." And we agreed on a price, and he hacked away at that snow ridge that you get when the plow comes sure. by, and got it just about to the point where, as you, if you'd had a, a crane with a big magnet or maybe an industrial-sized forklift, you, you, you might have got the car <laughs> out. You couldn't drive it out. And I said, "Hey, this doesn't work." And he said, "Well, it's all I want to do. You know, how about <laughs> if you give me half?" I said, "All right," and I do the rest myself. What do you think's changed? I mean, I hate to say that line. Well, back in my day. I mean, you know, but kids are different today. Is that it? I mean, are they more plugged in than maybe unplugged and out on the streets? I don't. I suppose probably everyone has more money than we than than a lot of people did back then. So, and and maybe maybe a little more is given to you, so you aren't expected to to make your own money. And probably you've got a lot more. Kids, I think, are programmed today in a way with activities that they weren't in, in when I was when I was younger, although usually on a snow day those wouldn't come into effect. But I, I think it's a, a combination of things like that, that there just isn't quite the, the same expectation you're going to go out and make your own money and your job is going to school and playing video games. I don't know. Maybe we've tipped a few kids off. They're home on a Friday night watching this and they'll be able to say, you know what, that next storm that's due for next week, maybe I'll go out and make a few bucks. Maybe I can buy that. I don't know, iPod game or app that I was looking at. Scott well, Lee out of the Boston Globe. Great read today. We appreciate you taking the time to visit with us. Thanks for having me.